Hello and welcome to the Machinist News Network. I'm Deirdre Kanievsky. Thousands gathered recently in D.C. with a very clear message to the insurance industry. Now is the time for health care reform. When insurance companies come together to plot how to stop health care reform, that's a crime. That's a crime. We're declaring this a crime scene. It was a tough message that no one could misunderstand, with labor on one side and big insurance on the other. So today we're here to put the insurance companies on notice. We will not allow you or your lobbyists to bully or impede Congress into not acting, not on health care, and not on any of the issues important to America's working peoples. Congress should, Congress must, and Congress will listen to the people and not the insurance companies. As insurance company lobbyists met behind closed doors at the Ritz-Carlton Hotel in D.C. this week, labor and its allies took to the streets, marching and protesting for a health care plan that helps working America and their families. We are the face of America. And we want the party goers here at the Ritz-Carlton to know what we do. Pick up their trash, teach their children, prepare their roads, <laughs> drive their kids' school buses. We answer their 911 emergency calls. That's what we do. What the hell do they do? And although this group made quite an impression, I own 20 Congress people myself. <laughs> it's the individual tales that tell this story. We've got cases of people every day, you know, to our locals, you know, pretty much crying for help. See if we can help them with the bills, see if we can help them with the doctor, with the hospital. I mean, it's really, really crazy. I'm exactly the age to worry about health care because uh, you come off your parents' plan. And what do you do? If, you're, if your employer does not offer you health care, or maybe if you're unemployed and you get sick, what are you going to do? You have no course of action. This is all for Bridget. Desney Crock and her three-year-old daughter Bridget are thankfully living proof why health care reform is needed. Bridget was diagnosed at 17 months with pleuropulmonary blastoma, PPB, which is a rare form of childhood cancer. It is only detected in children about 10 to 20 kids all across North America a year. To get Bridget adequate care, Desney and her husband had to go out of network, leaving them a 40% copay to take care of and fear for their daughter's future. As it stands right now, if we ever lose health insurance, she's got a pre-existing condition and won't be able to get insured. This is the story Desney wants the insurance industry to hear. It's just one in a million tales of people who have had enough of the insurance industry dictating whether health care passes through Congress. So we're out here sending a message to the insurance companies that they're not going to stand in the way of health care reform for America. People don't realize that at any point in time, something could happen that you don't foresee. And having that health care, that insurance to back you up in those times of crisis is critical. Health care! Like so many others, Jordan's message to the insurance industry is simple. Listen. Just listen to us. And hear it. You can hear it right now. For Bridget's sake, let's hope someone was listening. Although police were present, the demonstration was a peaceful one. For more, you can log on to goim.org. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Machinist News Network.